Hi folks and welcome back to Math with Captain Rod. The purpose of this video is to um, demonstrate how to take limits of rational functions, particularly one-sided limits, and we're going to be uh, particularly focused on plus and minus signs uh, when we go through this exercise here. So what we're going to do here is we're going to try to take the limit of this expression, this rational expression, x squared minus 1 over 2x plus 4, and we're actually going to take four different limits. Limit as x approaches negative 2 from the right, and then negative 2 from the left, then as x approaches 1 from the right, and then 0 from the left. So taking these one at a time, I'm going to take the first one here, and I'm going to go ahead and write it out. So the first problem is going to be limit as x approaches negative 2 from the right of x squared minus 1 over 2x plus 4. Now, you know, advice I always give students about limits is just put the value in and see if you get a number out. If you do, you're typically done. So I'm just going to run negative 2 through this thing and see what comes out of it. So in the top, when we take negative 2 and square it, that becomes a 4 minus 1. So the top of this is going to 3. The bottom of this, right, 2 times negative 2 is negative 4 plus 4 is 0. 3 over 0 is infinite. Right? So one, one thing is we would say that the limit, you know, somebody might say the limit does not exist. But we could also, another way to say that is the limit is going to infinity. However, there's two different directions to go to infinity. We could be, this limit could be going to plus infinity or minus infinity. And we're going to investigate which now. So the big question is, is it plus infinity or minus infinity? Now, the numerator, again, as x approaches negative 2, the numerator is going to 3, and that is positive definite. There's, there's no ambiguity there. 3 is a positive value. The denominator, however, 0 is the boundary between positive values and negative values. So to determine whether the ratio is going to plus infinity or minus infinity, we need to know whether this is approaching zero from the left or right hand side. So as we look at this, x is going to negative two from the right. These would be numbers like negative 1.9 or negative 1.9 nine or negative 1.999, etc. If I take a value like negative 1.999 and I place that value here, this term is going to be positive. Because 4 is bigger than 2 times 1.999. So we would say that this is going to 0 through positive values or through positive numbers. That's my shorthand for that. So this limit is going to plus infinity because both the numerator and denominator are positive. I'm going to pause this for just a moment. Okay, I'm back. So what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to take a look at the next limit. Uh, limit as x approaches negative 2 from the left. So I'm going to go ahead and clear what I don't... Whoops. <laughs> Not what I want to do. Clear what I don't need, I was going to say, which is this stuff. And I'll just do this here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to scratch that, and we're taking a look at the limit as x approaches negative 2 from the left. Now, as we approach negative 2, the top is still going to 3. That's from negative 2 squared 4 minus 1. The bottom, when we put a negative 2 right here, this bottom is going to 0. But the important thing is to know is, is it going to 0 through positive values or negative values? Now, we're approaching negative 2 from the left. So these are numbers like negative 2.1, negative 2.01, negative 2.001, and so forth, as we get closer and closer to negative 2. If I put negative 2.001, in for x, the million dollar question, is this quantity positive or negative? What do you folks think? It is negative. 
So this is going to zero, and I, I would put something like through negative numbers. That's my little shorthand for that. So this is a positive value divided by a negative value. So this limit is minus infinity because it's a pos it's the limit's infinite, 3 over 0, or 3 over something going to 0, really, is the correct way to put that. But it's going to 0 through negative numbers. So minus infinity for that limit. Does anyone have any questions about that? Well, let me get rid of what I don't need. We'll look at the other couple here. So, oops. Let me just get rid of that whole deal. All right, next up. Limit as x approaches 1 from the right of the expression x squared minus 1 over 2x plus 4. And again, just put the value in, see if you get a value out. When we put a plus 1 here, the top of this is going to 0 from 1 squared minus 1. The bottom is going to 6. So the limit is 0. And I see no reason to investigate plus or minus signs here because um, 0 is 0 is 0. Plus and minus signs don't, don't uh, really matter. I mean, the top is in fact going to 0, I believe, through, let's see, if we approach 1 from the right, these would be numbers like 1.1, 1.1, 01, 1.0001. So this is this is going to zero through positive values, but um, that doesn't affect the end game. That the um, even if we're going to zero through negative values, this limit is still just zero. And let's take a look at this last one as we approach zero from the right. I'm going to get rid of this. And I guess I'll get rid of this. And we're going to look at now limit as x approaches 0. Oops, did I say right? I meant left. As x approaches 0 from the left. So when we take the limit of that expression as x approaches 0, the top is going to negative 1, because 0 squared minus 1, minus 1. The bottom is going to 4. As 2x plus 4, as x goes to 0, goes to 4. Minus 1 fourth. And there's our limit. Done. So I hope, hope this video helps demonstrate how to uh, take these uh, one-sided limits of a rational expression. Have a great day.